LeBron James at Miami Heat nakabounce back sa NBA Finals. Reigning UAAP Basketball Champions, LaSalle Green Archers, nakuha ang preseason Premier Cup title. At Rafael Nadal at Maria Sharapova, naiuwi ang French Open Trophies. Ako si Anton Rojas. Ako naman si Tina Marasigan. Ang lahat ng yan, abangan dito sa The Score! Tabla na ang NBA Final Series sa pagitan ng Miami Heat at San Antonio Spurs. Ito ay matapos makuha ng defending champions Miami Heat ang Game 2 kanina. Let's get the real score from TJ Manoto. Tim Duncan attacked the basket aggressively. Sa first quarter, si Tim Duncan na naman ang kumarga sa Spurs. Habang si Chris Bosh naman ang maagang uminit para sa Miami na may 7 points. Sa second quarter, si Lebron James panay ang saksak sa loob. Habang si Tony Parker at si Manu Ginobi naman ang nagtibon sa Spurs sa kanilang inside-outside attack. Tablang laban sa halftime, 43-all. Sa third quarter, uminit muli si Lebron James. Pero sinagot naman ito ng pinagsamang puwersa ni na Parker, Duncan at Leonard. Lamang pang Spurs, 78-77, papasok ng fourth quarter. Sa fourth quarter, dikitan pa rin ang laban. Nung lamang ang Spurs ang dalawa lang sa huling six minutes, natawagan ng flagrant foul si Mario Chalmers. Nang sikuhin niya si Tony Parker. Sinunda naman yun ang three-pointer ni James. At balik ang lamang sa Miami, 88-87. Papalapit ng last two minutes, si Parker naman ang bumanat ng tres. Sinagot na naman ito ng three-pointer ni Chris Bosh at balikan lamang sa Miami. Sa sumunod na crucial play ng Spurs, pinamigay pa ni Ginobili ang bola. At sa huling sampung segundo, nakatakas pa si Dwayne Wade at nakalayap. Lamang na ng lima ang heat. Naka three points man si Ginobili. Paralo ang heat, 98-96. 48 hours, we have to get ourselves right and a similar mindset of desperation and mental toughness to go into game three. Pero kumpiyansa naman si Tony Parker na makakabawi pa ang Spurs. Yeah, but we know it's going to be a long series and uh, every game is going to be very tough. Sa loob ng dalawang taon, hindi pa nakakatikim ng back-to-back -back na talo ang Heat sa playoffs. At babalik na sila ngayon sa Miami para sa Game 3 ng tablang serya ng one all. Mapapanood ng Game 3 ng NBA Finals, Miyerkules na umaga sa ABS-CBN Channel 2. TJ Manotok, ABS-CBN News, San Antonio, Texas. For more analysis of the first two games of the NBA Finals, kasama natin ang napakasayang resident basketball natin na vlogger na si Enzo Flo. Yes! Yeah, no, yeah, no. <laughs> Alam namin, masaya ka. Tama ba ako? <laughs> teka, teka. Di ba Miami ka? Uh, okay. Well, nanalo Miami game two. I picked Miami to win the series. Mm -hmm. diba? So so far, so good, I think. 1-1. Very exciting. Uh, two best basketball teams in NBA ngayon. They're showing really good, efficient, entertaining basketball, mm -hmm. tight games. Yung game one nga, kung hindi na wala si Lebron, dikit na yung laban na yun. So tingin mo, if it wasn't because of the cramps ni Lebron, Ako talagang cramps, Miami yeah. na yan. <laughs> well, mahirap sabihin eh. Pero definitely, mas maganda yung chance ng Miami mm -hmm. had Lebron been able to stay mm -hmm. on the court you know, for longer than he Kasi was there. Kasi ang ganda ng game kanina. Oo, oh, sobra, oh. di ba? Dikita niyo laban kanina, mm -hmm. two points ang parano ng Miami, di ba? It came down to the uh, big shots and in the end by Chris Bosh, yung big plays ng Miami sa huli, mga big mistakes naman ng San Antonio. So ganun ka-exciting, ganun ka-dikit yung matchup ng dalawang teams na ito talaga. Sabi nga, yun nga ang finals game. Yes. At uh, nabanggit mo kanina, Enzo, mga big mistakes ng San Antonio. Gaano kabigat yung four missed free throws? Oh, man. Parker and Duncan at the line, pressure at its highest. Yeah. Gaano kabigat yun para sa well, San Antonio? Well, kung gagamitin natin simple arithmetic, di ba? they lost by two, they missed four free throws. So, really big difference yun. But nung time na na-miss nila yun, kasi sobrang critical, eh, they, if they hit those free throws, momentum siguro permanently would have been you know, in San Antonio's side. As, kung naalala ko ng tama, after nila mag-miss nung apat na free throw, si Lebron 
naka-tres siya pagkatapos noon tapos unang yung, yung momentum Chopper. swung uh, in Miami's favor na so those were big free throws na miss ng San Antonio talaga at that point in time at historically tina alam natin na yes. ang Miami magaling when it comes to bounce back games pero para sa Enzo ano yung pinakamabigat na adjustment na ginawa ng Miami upang manalo dito sa game number two? Well, I think they were able to limit yung offense ng San Antonio dito. No? They really locked down on yung mga pick and roll at yung mga motion offense ng San Antonio. Nung game one kasi yung ibang role players ng San Antonio, Danny Green, Thiago Splitter, ang dami nilang ginawa. Pero sa game na to, combined, I think mga 13 points lang sila. Pero nung game one, almost 30 points ginawa nila combined. So, yun yung isang malaking adjustment na ginawa ng, ng Miami dito. And they came out really aggressive no? um, in this game. Even if LeBron James medyo slow start siya, mm. kita naman natin throughout the game, mas aggressive talaga yung Miami. Yun nga, speaking of aggressiveness, talagang si LeBron, 35 yes. points, hindi ba? Yes. Tingin mo ba itong uh, pagiging aggressive ni LeBron kasi ang assists nila mas mababa kasi sa Spurs. Do you think this is a good strategy for Game 2? Well, LeBron's LeBron. If he's motivated, like he showed in Game Two, mm -hmm. um, they don't need that many assists. Right? If LeBron's this motivated, kung ganito siya efficient, maglaro ka effective, he can just take over a game, like what he did here. He can score. He made the you know the key assist to Chris Bosh mm -hmm. near the end of the game. So LeBron James like just a game-changing, series-changing kind of player, talaga. Yan. And LeBron will always be LeBron. Kasama niya ang kanyang uh, dalawang fellow All-Stars, yes. Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh. Pero ano naman ang masasabi mo kay Rashard Lewis? Wow. <laughs> averaging 12 points dito sa series na ito. Oh, Pinag-usapan natin kanina, Anton. Eh. Parang throwback to si Rashard Lewis yung <laughs> Seattle days pa niya. Eh. Ang ganda na pinapakita niya, I think he hit like three three-pointers sa Game 2. No? Um, Nag-double figure scoring din siya, alam ko, sa Game 1. So, past four games niya, dating back to yung Game 5 ng Indiana series, Puro double-figure scoring si Rashard Lewis. Ang ganda na pinapakita niya. Siya yung parang Mike Miller ng Miami ah, ngayong oh, season na to. Eh. Kasi si Mike Miller, last season, big-time player. Ngayon, Rashard Lewis showing his uh, his skills for Miami. What should uh, Spurs do for Game 3? Like, dapat ba mag-focus uh, sila in containing LeBron para mapigilan nila yung ganung kataas na, <laughs> na points na umaabot ng 35? Or they should really focus on their offense kasi kanina, mas na-limit nga sila ng Miami? Siguro, the Spurs should switch off the air conditioner. Ano yan? Hindi naman. <laughs> Again? Hindi, <laughs> hindi, hindi naman. Um, pero, ang hirap kasi i-contain ni LeBron. Eh. He's mm -hmm. the type of player na hindi mo masa-stop malilimot mo lang ng konti. Siguro kung hindi siya maka-30 na puntos, mga 20, 25. Dapat pala ang tanong ko, is it possible uh, to contain, to stop, uh, to stop, to stop him, no? to contain him a little bit, siguro pwede. <laughs> siguro, San Antonio, what they should just do is, aside from hitting their free throws, mm -hmm. to execute much better. Dito sa game na to, even if they miss those free throws, mm -hmm. they still had a chance to win. Eh. May mga turnovers lang sila sa huli, na ang bad na execution nila, weirdly enough, kasi they're, supposed to be the excellent, you know, mm. executing team. Pero dito, they just drop the ball at the end. If they execute better, um, if they limit someone like Rashard Lewis and the other role players of Miami, they have a better chance in Game 3. So, tabla na ang ating series. 1-1. One, one, one. One. Game 3, para <laughs> sa'yo, Enzo. Whoa. Ano kaya magiging takbo ng laban ng Miami at San, San Antonio sa Miami? Well, it's not that difficult to, to pick a favorite for Game 3. No? If you want to pick a winner, you pick Miami. Kasi they haven't been beaten at home. Wala pa sila talo sa, you know, sa home court nila. Ang San Antonio, ang, wala sa kanilang momentum, nasa Miami. And Miami's home crowd is gonna be there. Nasa ang Miami, they just play so much better at home. If they could stay and hang with San Antonio, in San Antonio, you know, they're gonna be much more dominant at home. So mas, mas malaki ang chance ng Miami manalo games 3 and 4 at Pero, home. Uh, considering the previous games of Miami, lalo na pag-finals, kasi may mga tendencies din eh. Diba? May mga weaknesses din sila. Ano sa tingin mo yung dapat bantayan ng Miami sa sarili nilang koponan? Well, siguro they can't be complacent, especially on defense, no? against a Spurs team. Um, they have to continue playing really good defense on the Spurs. Um, in games 1 and 2, yung big three ng Spurs, si Manu Ginobili, Tony Parker, Tim Duncan, lahat gumawa. Mm. If they continue na gumawa sila ng big numbers sa Game 3 at Game 4, medyo baka delikado rin ng Miami, even if they've been unbeaten at home. Yun. So, right. Looking forward to Game 3 this coming Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Enzo, maraming salamat for once Thank again coming back Thank here you. to the score. We'll see you again soon.